Hey guys, this is the 4th Gen Gamer, bringing you guys a brand new video, and today I'm going to be showing you how to Pokegem Pokemon using PK Hex and the Homebrew channel with all of the latest updates as of September 7th, 2015. I'm going to be going through this as quick as I can, so if I'm going too fast, you can always rewind and watch other parts of this video, or leave a comment, I'll try to help you to the best of my ability. So first you're going to want to download the YouTube app. This is available for free on the Nintendo eShop, and we're going to need this for the Homebrew channel. Next, you're going to need to put your SD card inside your computer. Now, if you're like me and you don't have a SD card port on your computer, then you could go out and buy for $5 to $10 a cheap USB to SD card reader, and it works just as well. Once your computer can see your 3DS's SD card, you're going to need to go down to the media file link that I include down below. It should say homebrewfiles.zip. Once you download this, you can either open it right in Windows or with another program like WinRAR. All the files that are inside the zip, you're going to take and drag them right onto your SD card from your 3DS. If it says that there are files that already exist, you can replace them and make sure that all of the files do go onto the SD card. Now that you have these files, you can take the SD card and put it back in your 3DS. Now before we are going to open up the homebrew launcher, you're going to have to go to your internet settings under your system settings. Go to whichever connection that you are using and go to DNS and turn auto obtain DNS off. Now you're going to need to enter in the detailed setup for your primary address this exact address. So pause the video and put that exact address in so you don't mess it up and make sure you have that because that's going to be really important. From here you can open up the YouTube app and you'll be prompted for a certain firmware version. If you have the new 3DS or the new 3DS XL, select the new versions or if you have an older 3DS or 2DS or 3DS XL, please select the old version or else this won't work. So at this point you're gonna let the homebrew channel do its thing. It's gonna look kinda scary, but this is perfectly normal for it to look graphically weird at times when it's loading. And once you do this, well, now you have the homebrew channel all working for us to modify our game and get all the cool Pokemon that we want using PK Hex. So now you can relaunch the homebrew channel and then select the save manager. From here you're gonna be at the settings option, and if you scroll over you should find whatever game that you have in your system, whether it's X, Y, Omega Ruby, or Alpha Sapphire. Once it loads up you'll have different options, such as backup save data, import save data, or exit. For now we're just going to back up the save data and select A. Once that finishes up, you will now have a copy of your save on your SD card. So once again you are going to put the SD card in your computer so we're able to modify it. At this point, you will have another item to download. Go down to the description once again and go to the Project Pokemon link and you will find a link to the PK Hex download. Go to that website and scroll down until you see the download link and then once you click that, it will be another zip file. Once you open up the zip, you will only see one application, it's pkhex.exe. If you want, you can just open it up right in there or for easier use, you could drag it onto your desktop or wherever you would like it to be. Once you open up the PK Hex app, you're going to want to go to File and then Open. Go to your SD card once again, and there should be a folder called Save Data Backup and a file in there called Main. Now, if that does not appear for you, there is something that went wrong, so go back and try the other steps once again to make sure that it works. Now that you have loaded up your save, all of your PC boxes and Pokemon will be there, and you can modify them as well. On the left side of the window, you will be able to modify the Pokemon, such as species, nickname, all these other stats, and you need to make sure that they're perfectly legal for them to be usable online. Once you've set a Pokemon that you like, you can right-click a box inside of your PC on the right and click Set, and that will set that Pokemon to whatever you just customized. Once you have everything to your liking, you could go to the SAV tab and then go to Export SAV, from here you're going to save it right over the original file, and then that's pretty much that. From there you can just put your 3DS SD card back into the 3DS, and then launch the homebrew channel once again, go to the save manager and do the same thing as before, except instead of backing up your data, you're going to import the data. And once that's done, you're pretty much good to go. All the changes that you made should be implemented, and that is how you can Pokegen with everything updated as of this video. So hopefully this video was helpful to you guys. I think it was, and it's very useful. You can use it for lots of different things, and as long as, you know, you make the Pokemon legal, you can use them online, and that is really great. If you have any ideas for future videos, let me know down in the comment section below, and of course, hit that subscribe button for more Pokemon videos just like these. And I will see you next time. Peace.